Okay, here we are with the uh, Sniper 2300 installation on the Opal GT again. And uh, uh, now I have uh, connected the, the Sniper ECU to the Opal timing so that the, uh, the computer is actually controlling the ignition timing. And uh, this looks like a rat's nest. Uh, none of this is cleaned up. This is just uh, kind of an experiment to see if I can get it going right now and uh, so what what I've done is on the distributor um, I've locked out the distributor you can see where the uh, advanced plates have been welded and also the mechanical plates on the bottom I took the distributor out and uh, welded those together so that there's uh, no movement except for a little bit of play uh, <clears throat> on the distributor shaft uh, this was an older distributor, so I didn't sacrifice my good one. And uh, you can see the Pertronics are still installed with the rotor button and uh, or the reluctor wheel down there. And uh, the uh, the rotor button, I had to take a Dremel and uh, shave off the little keyway in there so that I could turn the rotor button and phase it correctly for the ECU. And uh, I've talked more about that in my thread on OpalGT.com. So the Pertronics, you still have the uh, positive wire with the Pertronics going to uh, a switched power. The uh, negative side, or the signal wire of the Pertronics, goes to the, the uh, purple wire on the uh, sniper uh, crank signal input. And the other side, the green wire, is grounded. Now, the output of the sniper, the coil output, is this white wire. And you can't drive the coil directly with that, so you have to get sniper's uh, little ignition um, driver module, which is probably nothing more than a couple of uh, uh, transistors to uh, sync the current from the coil. Don't, don't connect the white wire to the coil or you blow up your ECU and cost a lot of money. So uh, this little box has uh, plus and minus power, ground and switched power. Again, the white wire comes from the ECU and then the uh, gray wire goes over to the coil to drive the coil. So uh, I've uh, set timing marks on my uh, crank pulley down there and I use a timing light to uh, set it all up. And uh, we'll give it a shot here. There she is. So you can see the uh, hyper control. And you can see it is controlling timing. So you can go in and set the timing uh, on your timing map. So, sounds pretty good, good acceleration. I haven't taken it for a test drive yet, but I will do that tomorrow. Over and out for now.